Okay, so we've been studying the side choke defense, and one of the things we're gonna focus on today, today's lesson is how to pluck correctly. So if Miss Mario was grabbing from the side choke, I am getting grabbed and moved from here. When the person grabs correctly and actually trying to hurt you and choke you, there will be a space inside of their wrist just like this. Because if their hand is flat, they're not trying to hurt you, they're trying to squeeze. If their hand is up, they're trying to push into your neck. So from there, there will be a space inside. So five fingers, all five come inside the hand. And when I'm grabbing, I'm just plucking it away at the same time. I want to drop my elbow, rolling her hand into my chest. From here, it's way more uncomfortable. If I just pluck her hand away, she's gonna strike or move and I'm in trouble. So the proper way to do it is when she's grabbing here, I'm going to reach inside. And then as I pluck or as I pull and pinch her hand, I'm gonna make sure that I roll that hand away so it's uncomfortable. Eventually in the future, we'll use this position to hurt the wrist, hurt the shoulder, drop her arm, make her turn. But right now, we are working on just plucking that hand off the neck and getting into a better position for me to have the advantage. So hopefully you watched the last video of Miss Murray when she was choking me and you saw how I had to maneuver my hand inside to actually make it really work. Now, unfortunately, you don't have a real partner to practice with. We can actually use your glove. So we're going to have the invisible man come and attack me so I can practice my basic mechanics. So I'm going to get attacked. From here, I'm going to reach all five fingers over the top, all five, and then I'm going to flip that glove over and then bring it to my body nice and tight and snuggle it close so if the person tries to pull their hand out, they have a way harder time, okay? So from here again, I'm getting choked. I don't grab in a C grip, which is my thumb underneath like this, because I will grab the hand and push it into my throat and make the choke worse. All five of my fingers, like a Barbie doll hand, goes all the way around, all five fingers. Then I'm gonna take that glove and I'm going to rip. I'm gonna pull that glove forward, flip it over, but keep it close to my body so the person can't pull their hand out, okay? So let's try the first one. We're gonna try it 10 times on one side, 10 times on the other to make sure we're good at it. So we're getting choked, ready? All five fingers around and pull one. Back up and two. All five fingers, three. All five fingers, four. Make sure you're flipping that glove over from the top side, boom, all the way to the inside of the glove. Ready? And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. And ten. Okay, other side, exact same thing. So don't get too creative, okay? Keep it very simple, very plain. All five fingers go all the way over. I'm going to take it from the green side. I flip that glove, keep it right against my chest for one. Ready? Reach in and two. All the way across, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay? So it's super important to turn that hand over and pluck it away, like you saw the video I showed Miss Murray earlier. If the person has another weapon in their hand, if they have a knife with them, you're doing a knife defense in this one, because the teens and adults do knife defense in their class, in their curriculum. Junior black belts too, we're starting knife defenses. If that is a knife against my neck, I don't want to just pull the knife down because it's still near my throat. When I pluck, I pull the knife away so the knife's not pointing near my neck anymore. That's super important. So when we pluck, we always make sure we pluck it down, make sure we move it away from our body, even if it's the hand with the hand away from my neck. If it's a knife, holy smokes, I'm gonna get that sucker away from me as far as I can get, okay team? So when you train your, um, train your side choke defense, make sure you're using five finger grip, not a C grip, which will make it worse. Five fingers go all the way around and you practice flipping the glove or flipping the hand over, okay? Happy training, my friends. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in a real class pretty soon, but if not, we're trying to set up our Zoom class, so, uh, a Zoom online class so I can see you and actually I can critique your practice. I can see you actually practicing. And plus, I just like the interaction. I do miss teaching every day. So uh, I miss you guys. So hopefully I'll see you soon.